So can you see my screen, right? Yeah, you can see it. Okay, thank you everyone for your questions. Then I will start just um, by describing the task that needs to be done for this week's challenge. And basically, this week's challenge mainly focus on the market research development and how you market how you go to market with new product or service. So as I'm starting to explain the things, uh, as your CEO wants you to discover how the the new product or the new solution will solve uh, so many uh, pain points for individuals, also for groups. So you need to check the market need. You need to identify gaps. You need to uh, have a unique feature for your product or service uh, in order to be competitive enough in the environment. So that means basically when you start by market research, you start to check the need. Maybe let's say you have uh, so many offices, but around those offices, there is no coffee shop. Uh, in, keep uh, like. We know that in office we need to a uh, refreshment to have. That means uh, coffee shop thing. So uh, I know you know that need is there because of so many offices are around. So once you identify the gap, uh, you will think of how you feel. Like, uh, are you going to make a coffee shop that's big or a coffee shop that's small? Or are you going to provide a coffee that is have um, other uh, things, which is uh, macchiato or something like that? Or are you planning to provide only coffee and tea? So maybe with this coffee, you need to provide a certain uh, snacks there, and that will go with your service. That means in this case, you need to identify how you can, uh, your product can feel a specific requirement that, and a value proposition that differentiates your product from other competitors. That means what is the unique thing? If I came to a uh, coffee shop, what this is the unique thing which I get, either it's uh, price or any other um, uh, like coffee quality or some snacks with the coffee, you can think of so many things which makes your product different. So in this market research also, I just want you to focus on identifying the need for this uh, next uh, dynamics team and uh, what was the pain point, what was the uh, gap which you want to fill by your product. So basically Nextra is a software developed company, so they need a software solution. That means software. you will give them a software solution. You can think of uh, they are planning to uh, assess remote workers and or this remote team and they are they fail to manage that. So they want uh, a product that can fill this gap. So basically you will you will start by identifying what's, uh, how, what's market research and how you're going to deal with that. So you will go and search for market. Okay, Rodolf. Yeah, uh, we lost your presentation slide. I don't know if uh, it is on purpose. If not, can you will share your screen. I was sharing. Uh, we can see. Uh, it is now it is coming. Okay. Yeah. Ray, are you talking or? Oh, yes, I have the same concern. I can see the presentation as well. Okay. What about now? So, first, we will start by conducting this market research. You will start to understand what the hypothesis you are going to do. Like specifically, what's the problem you're going to solve? And also, what is the competitor for that one? Like if you are planning to develop operating system and we have Windows, Mac, Linux, and you want to be competitor for them. 
so you should have to search for the market like how these users are using what are their pain points uh, what's the mark user are uh, using this mark and how is the cost and you will try to identify that one so here we have attached some um, materials for you to start and how to develop this market research then basically you need to understand what's market research initially then based on once you identified that or you understand that you will define your market and for whom you are going to uh, serve that specific product or service so the industry um, your customer or your geographic region you will target according to my last example just so i'm just focusing on office near to me so if the, if that's the case i will limit my uh, targeting into those geographical regions or my customers are who are my customers either i want to go business to business customer or business to customer uh, or I want both, so I will decide based on what I have. And then the next thing is just going deep down to study the market, what's the market trend, what does that customer need about that specific product or related to that specific product. Then uh, for you, you are expected to develop this kind of scenario using AI, that means either ChatGPT or Gemini or Copilot with whatever suits you but you start by asking like you are you are trying to develop uh, um, market research and you'll be uh, asking them about what is the current trend in the tech startup or whether what is the current thing in the small scale technology service provider or i want to fill this 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 gap so what's the current trend regarding to that and you will have so many questions that you can ask GPT and GPT will be your knowledge base because in practical, we will not have that specific kind of going search for uh, need. For example, if it is a practical project, you will go and ask people what's their pain point, what's their experience with that specific product, or you disseminate a survey like using this monkey survey or any surveying tool. You will disseminate survey and you will collect that based on that you will try to formulate your analysis so for this one we expect you to use ai as your knowledge base for any of the product you are planning to uh, market then the next thing is you are going to analyze the competitors that uh, like nestra is a software development company so what their who are their competitors so you will try to formulate those competitors at least three competitors can be enough but you will try to ask the next is trying to do this 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 and what's the who are their competitors and what scale or what are the specific product features that the competitors give and also you will uh, analyze based on um, the SWOT analysis that means uh, their strengths or weakness or opportunities that they have but they didn't use in their trades so based on that you will try to formulate your Nestra product uh, competitors which who are they and you can define the ideal market there so that means the next step is defining the target audience uh, who, who is your target audience whether it's uh, in local or in global or in any of the uh, assumptions you can assume that one and you will specify your target audience like let's say you are only providing this for females or let's say you are providing a product for um, youngsters like a social media platform or something like that or you are providing a, like a business tool for which we typically engage those high class uh, investors. So based on that, you will limit your audience and you will focus on your audience, which is limited to in um, 
a specific area. So based on that, you can um, you can prompt AI to get this information. Like you are, if you want to create a certain group of audience, that means you are trying to. I just want to create a target audience for this product, which is focused on a specific uh, investment thing. So I want to get. Uh, a target audience for that so she will try to generate you and based on that you will you can't refine it based on what you are you need or based on what you are addressing to the problem so then once you are done with that you could go to the next step which is what's the unique solution that you are going to give for them let's say I have identified women's in the area, so what's the main advantage which I'm going to give for them? So you will try to uh, list this with the help of GPT as well. Currently, we are recommending you to use AI for all of the things, but this is in real life, this is how you can simulate a strategic product development plan or budgeting plan when you become familiar with that one. You will apply this knowledge into your specific knowledge uh, problem uh, while working with product development and new product launch. So uh, if you want to be an entrepreneur, so this is also a way how you can set up a new product or a new service. So this could help you in that area also. So we have put this how you can refine this your um, features or your prompt based on what you ask. So as you know, or you have been experiencing so far the GPTs or large language models or the ones that AI tools needs to be uh, more uh, like human. So you need to refine every prompt or you need to ask straightforward what you want and in order to become not AI generated, you need to refine that. Uh, to get the desired result, you can also have an option. So you can see the examples here, and also you can add your concern or your use case to it. That will help to improve the uh, solutions to the answer, uh, to get the desired answer from AI tools. And the next is what's the innovative features that you want to uh, innovate for this new extra dynamics and try to uh, fill the gaps that you have identified earlier. So basically, you have a problem that needs to be solved. Then you have a proposed certain solution, but how this solution will uh, fill that specific gap, you need to write and you need to have those that makes you unique from the other competitors. So you will write that one in the unique solution or in in an area where you specify your solutions to the user or to your CEO. CEO. Then the next thing is defining the product. So you know what solution to give. You know what's the, the solution's unique features or the innovative solution that you create. Then the next is the, to define the product. Let's say I just want to, I, I have seen that there is no coffee shop. So I want to give the service for that provide coffee shops. And I want to add in addition to coffee, I want, whenever somebody comes to, my coffee shop i want to add one snack so that's my innovative uh, way of addressing this gap then the next thing is i will define my product so what are my products and what's this score feature or which coffee i'm going to use or which which things i'm going to do so i will plan on that so this plan will be your product definition so detailed description based on the target audience you have identified based on the competitors and based on their demographic uh, behavior and based on the pain point that they have you will uh, start to define 
the product. What are the core features? And you will use the same input as previous to get um, like a step by step uh, result. You will ask the AI to give you based on the following input that's the marketing or the competitor analysis or the target audience and the unique solution that you want to provide based on that information tries to generate this product definition or a comprehensive product definition that will incorporate all those things. And you can also refine the prompt by identifying which your computer gaps or uh, defining your product core quality or the target audience and what's the problem you are going to solve. So you can restructure the prompt and rephrase it and the next is developing this value proposition so what's the value proposition of your new product so you based on the market need and the content gaps you will add those things to get the value proposition and the next is you are you, you need to compile all these things like uh, in a report format so this will be the essential product strategy uh, document for you in order to present for the investors or for your ceo this is how you how you tackle the market research team and uh, it will be presented based on this finding you will be presenting using the slides so the next step is how to create the user persona. Uh, user persona, this is the other thing which you need to know. You have identified the target audience that you have. And based on that target audience, you need to have their needs, preference, and behavior. Like uh, those who are around, um, let's say I'm building this coffee shop. So those who are around this me or the office users, they only need uh, coffee to drink or they need some other additional thing. What they spend behavior, uh, some, someone can have more than one coffee or someone needs uh, milk or someone needs tea with coffee or something like that. So you would create those persona and this will help you uh, for, for whom you are going to design this specific product. That means uh you say that there is a problem you say that there is a solution you provide this uh, unique um, solution for them so the next step is uh, who are they even if i identified women so which women let's say i'm mahale so mahale needs this uh, two coffees per day she wants she spends like this and uh, she is um, she wants to talk around the coffee ceremony or she wants to see some new things in the coffee ceremony. So you will define uh, Mahalik as it is. Then the next, uh, this will give you an, an insight that how this product will fit with a specific user. And if you have example users like that, it will help you to uh, initially visualize your product and for whom you are designing. So in order to get uh, this view also, you are all going to use uh, AI tools like GPT or Gemini or Copilot, and you try to prompt it, like querying it. I just want to gather an information about uh, a user persona, and I, I'm developing this, 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 this product. And for that product, I want you to create a user persona for that. So once you have this list of user persona, then you will go to the next step, how you create a detail for that user persona. Then uh, specific guidance on, this will give you a specific guidance on your product development, marketing effort or marketing strategy, and it will give you so many additional information about that if you 
model your persona. Then, based on that, the next step is creating this user journey. So you can create the user journey, like how they are going to um, buy this coffee and why. Then you will start them in morning. So there are so many people coming to get morning coffee. In afternoon, there are, there are people are coming to get coffee and also um at like what time is at 3 a.m. or something like that. In their tea break, people come and uh, take coffee. So based on that, you will try to map the user journey, they will come and some of them may come three times, some of them may come one time. So on morning, so you have uh, people who take um, one cup of coffee and with certain thing. And those needs uh, sugar or more. So you can add your own um, user journey mapping, like from the start to the end while using your uh, product or service. So for my service, people will come and Mr. X comes to me and take a morning coffee and they manage to pay with the digital payment or they manage to pay with cash and they have suggested some, some things, uh, they have to do this and that. I will state that one, what's the opportunity, what's the pain point that they get while using this coffee shop or why, what's the pain point that they didn't get coffee nearby their office. So you will write that thing. And here we have attached a Figma board. And can you see it, right? This is the template for the user journey map, and you will add your specific user, maybe by age, occupation, location, or if you have other additional information, you'll write it here and what's the user need, what's the mindset, and you will try to fill these things. Uh, whether uh, based on this personal attributes, that means you have the uh, their names and background, and also their demographic, and their interest, attitude, or their behavioral traits, like uh, someone wants to spend more on their morning, and someone wants um, to spend less in, during their day, and their goal and motivation, and you have their challenge and pain points, so this will keep you posted on what's a specific user action and where do you can improve the product also because you can go back and check the product and you will if you find additional pain points here you can map that one so this will help you to create um, a user map journey there are so many references have, have been attached for this one you can refer to them how to fill them and you will picture it out at least for one or two user persona that your product is going to solve a problem for them. Then based on that, you will go for the next task, which is the pricing strategy. And in this pricing strategy, OK, now you have defined your product. You have defined what, uh, solved, uh, what it can solve, and you have defined the uh, uh, users that are going to use your product. So the next step is how much does it cost? In order to uh, answer that question, you need to understand the cost structure, what's the fixed cost, and what are the variable cost, what are the operational cost. For that one, based on that, if it is a software development uh, product so it needs to be developed first it needs to be maintained it needs to be uh, like it needs regular updates that means you are you need to include all these costs for my coffee shop i have a fixed cost that uh, which can be a one-time cost and also i have variable cost that can be 
for uh, production and for sales and also I have an operational course for those who are uh, servicing this coffee shop. So I will understand that cost and based on that cost, I will try to identify the cost that I have for my specific product and I will go to calculate the total cost. Based on that, your total cost can be calculated using the total fixed cost plus the total variable cost and the total operational cost. In this cost uh, costing or pricing strategy, you can use AI. Still, AI is your knowledge base, so you can use AI to check the annual cost for developing uh, one specific software product, or you can um, ask for um, coffee shop, uh, which is the service I want to from the previous example. I want to calculate the annual cost for my coffee shop, which will provide this, 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 and that. And based on that, you will get the overall uh, costs that are related to the specific product. Then based on that, you will get the total cost. Once you get the total cost, the next is to analyze that cost. And as much as you can, it's uh, advisable to reduce your cost while uh, in development or in production. So if there is a way, any way to reduce this cost, you will ask uh, the same as your knowledge base. You go in pink. I, I have this total cost. And based on this expert breakdown, I just want to get uh, and a suggestion on which area which I can improve my uh, total cost and reduce my expense. So based on that, you will get the uh, total cost reduced or a suggestions for that. Then you will use to reduce that uh, your total cost. Then the next thing is uh, to identify the desired project uh, profit margin. That means and to what percent you are generating profit, either you want five percent, ten percent, or hundred percent. So you will specify your product uh, profit margin, and then you can add this profit margin, and you will get the the maximum total budget, including your profit. Then the next is setting up uh initial uh the pricing model and in which ways do you want uh to price that means uh this cost plus pricing or value based pricing or competitive pricing so which one do you want then based on what you have seen uh, you can explore more on how this pricing strategies work and based on them you will choose one model and you said the initial price. The initial price is which includes your total cost, your profit margin, and in a way that which uh, pricing model you have chosen to cost. And based on that, you can uh, still bring GPT uh, to return back to you the initial pro uh, price for your product. For example, I have total cost of uh, $10, so I want to get a profit margin of 5%. Then I want to get this, um, I have targeted this, this, and the market based on your competitor analysis, the market rate, you I have identified the market rate. And I have this market rate. What will you suggest for me using either? the cost plus pricing or the value plus uh, value based pricing model. Then, and if you want to add additional things like uh, this, the introductory of offer, like 50% discount for 10% discount for the initial or for one month of the coffee shop or for members of your product. Or you can think of the pre, -pre plans that they provide. So this will enhance your uh, pricing strategy and you will have a price, uh, you have a set the
price in uh, the initial price based on these steps. Then the next is to create a job description. So uh, we said that we have this price, we have this cost, we have uh, this thing. So we need to have uh, staffing or human resource for that one. Uh, how are you going to have the human resource? So you are going to advertise job description. Uh, then you need to formulate, um, like at least you need when you are a startup, you cannot hire everyone at once. So you need to identify five key roles that cannot be replaceable. So once you have identified those key roles, you will try to get uh, responsibility and requirement for that one. So how you are going to do, I'm going to do a software development, uh, a software that will solve this problem. And I want those key five key roles, top five key roles, which can uh, solve this uh, problem. So you will ask this still now, you are going to ask the GPT. So AI, AI will help you to assist. And if that doesn't seem realistic, you can refine your prompt how you are going to ask the AI. And once you get those five uh, key positions, then you will go for role and responsibility definition. Uh, for that specific job, what do you want? Like uh, what type of responsibility? and what, uh, what are the qualifications you need, and you will have this information. Then in order to use AI with this one, you can have this kind of skeleton, a template, and you will insert this template and ask for GPT to provide you a job description for uh, each role. That means this, these are an examples. You can see that they are a marketing manager and product manager example and the qualification, but make sure that all your job posting will be consistent enough so you can use the template to help you uh, to give AI a context that on, on how they uh, return the answer. So the next is once you done with the key roles, you will go to the budget planning what's the budget needed for uh, the next one year and you can use ai to generate this cost estimate and revenue uh, projection based on what you have said earlier that means what are what's your revenue stream like if it says coffee shop i want to sell you a coffee per day this amount uh, think up then uh, it can be calculated to months and it can be converted to annual. Then based on that, I have identified my total um, cost and based on that total cost for one year, I have to forecast for the next two years and you will plan your budget. And if I want to add additional streams like if I want to add, rather than coffee, I want to add milk, then I will add that one also. If I want to add food, that's also going to be another revenue stream. So I will specify that and I will ask GPT, uh, which is all these things are uh, done the, with the help of AI, but you can use your um, prompting strategy or you can, the way you ask uh, AI can be varied from task one to task two or from task two to task three. And all the tasks, uh, all the tasks that we have done on task one, it can be inputted for task two. And all the solutions that you have provided for task three that can be inputted for task four or task five. So. There, if you interlink all those things, you will get better result when you communicate with AI. So once you have listed this potential uh, revenue source for your product, you will start to estimate the revenue for like for initially per month or per day. 
and this is an example for you to digest the concept and uh, for months if you have um, if you it costs you thirty dollar then what's the expected uh, sales volume for you and you want to sell uh, five um, five hundred units per basic and three hundred units for standard so you can multiply this one and you would get the your monthly revenue then based on that you will start to picture your financial performance and you will start to picture your long term strategy uh, can you, you cannot see the screen still hello yeah, hello. Hello. Uh, can at I the moment, no. But no. Is that for you or for everyone? Yeah, it was the same here for a while. Where or not? Okay. I think it's right now. Now you can see the presentation, yes? Yes. Yes. Okay, the next step is estimating the expense. Well, what that the expense that you have? Is it a personal cost or Operational costs, so you you will identify based on the cost that you have identified earlier, and you can uh, start planning for your project. So for marketing and sales, I want this. For personal cost, that means this HR and staff, you want this, and for operational cost, you want this, and for product development, I have this, and you will. That will be your complete budgeting plan for one year or for in this specific scenario we want you to develop for one year then what's your capital expenditure still whatever things is you are asking that you are going to communicate with ai how you can make the annual cost for research and development or for annual cost for marketing and sales to start new campaign and for new customer acquisition or uh, still uh, i can help you to assist to identify what are the necessary operational cost for your product and also necessary human resource cost that's salary or other benefits that you want to give for your employees then the next is uh, the contingency fund, which is most of the time the company needs this one if they get, uh, if they didn't get the revenue as expected, they will use this one. So which percent are recommended for uh, startup take or which percent is recommended for coffee shop, you will identify that one. And the next task is once you have done all this, you have the budgeting, you have the initial price, you have the market need and the market analysis. Then you will combine all those things into a slide, which is 10 to 15 slides. And you will tell to your COO how these things are uh, helping the company and this new product will have this, this thing, which is the introduction about the your new company and the problem that you are going to solve and if you want to add additional information you can include here and also you have a problem statement uh, what problem is there and you can articulate that one in a way that can be a uh, presentable mode so you can ask still the same gpt to summarize the problem that that team face or the problem that you have faced to get coffee. 
and the next is what's the solution uh, so this can be almost one one slide and you can give these unit features on your solution what are the innovative features that they have and what the solution going to be then the market opportunity based on your market analysis you have to check your competitors and you have uh, that market information so you will show that market information and for someone to know uh, to see how your product is um, feasible that means uh, if i am the investor i want to know that your product is feasible your product uh, is bringing money for me in next if i invest to that one so a general product overview that means uh, you can specify how the product is and your product mainly this is your product definition summary then the business model that you are going to use and the marketing strategy and the, your competitor analysis result what does it means what it have and you will show all the financial projection for annual or for two three years then based on that you your investor becomes familiar on what to answer or what to ask and if there are like if you start a, a product previously that means if you are developing it or if it is on beta testing or if you plan the coffee shop and you are going to ask uh, for um, like new uh, product so you will add this as a milestone or a roadmap that means i have this initially and i want to expand this in this way so you will show all your point that one and how many um, how much that do you want for what's your ask for the example you have the shop but you lack the marketing and sales so you want to have those marketing and sales thing or you want the advertisement more so how much do you need for that you will specify here in the funding desk and this will complete the slide or that is it then if you have that and you will go and convince anyone else including your CEO. so for this specific uh, submission uh, we expect you to have interim submission on october 11 which is the market research and the content for the market research what's the market need and what's the market gap you have under identified and uh, the clear definition of your product and your value proposition and for task two it, you will include the figma screenshot of user journey and you don't have any page limit you can have your own um, use but as much as you can try to make it clear and concise and for um, Friday we expect you to submit a full document of the steps and a pitch deck which is uh, a slide but you have to convert it into PDF then it includes all the tasks that have we discussed so far so the tutorials will be on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. And next Monday and Tuesday, we will have another tutorials. Uh, based on this, this week's challenge seems like this. And what's your um, understanding so far? Or if you have any question, it's open to ask. No question is everything is clear or not clear okay if it's clear so let's see you on the
tutorial session and if you have any question or anything you can reach out to me or Kerod or any of the tutors thank you everyone for joining